Hey there, DeFi adventurers. Phil, head of research at Morales here, and we've got a great video for you today. We're gonna be taking a look at Aptos. If you've never used Aptos before, this is the perfect video for you. We're gonna take it start to finish. We're gonna set up a new wallet, fund it, perform some swaps, and check out some lending. In fact, by the end of this, you're gonna be capable of performing not only those steps, but also complex leveraging through the combination of multiple dApps, which we'll review as well. Now, if you're already an Aptos expert, I'm sure we'll have some tips and tricks along the way that'll also help you out, so stick with us. If this is your first Morales tutorial, we move pretty quick, so feel free to pause and come back to other sections if you're following along. With that in mind, let's go! Our first stop on Aptos is to check out Potom Network Wallet. Now Potom Wallet can be accessed through the website potom.network and then by selecting the link Potom Wallet. Here we're brought to the Chrome Web Extension installation page. For us it says add to Brave. That's because we're using Brave browser, but if you're using Chrome it should say add to Chrome. Here we select add extension to continue. With the extension installed we're prompted to create a new wallet. So we select that option to proceed. Here we need to first specify a password. The password requirements are rather stringent, also requiring a rather long password, so keep that in mind. Once entered, select the Create button below. Here we have an option to download the mobile app as well, which we'll proceed to do, accomplished by scanning the QR code using our mobile device. We'll revisit that wallet later on in order to continue with the process. Here we select Next from the bottom. We're provided with a few links, but we're not gonna use any of these right now. We'll just select Finish and Continue. Notice that this wallet generated a mnemonic without showing it to us first. It's our responsibility to later on back this up, so we'll do that right now, selecting Resolve. Okay, so for those of you who are following along and you just set up a wallet for the very first time, that seed phrase has complete control of all of your funds. That's why I didn't show you mine, because I'm going to be using it in testing with real assets. And if I give away the seed phrase, then any one of you would be able to steal my funds. You need to remember that as well when generating a seed phrase and setting up a wallet. If you'd like a masterclass on this, we have one available. Click the link below to get started with Morales Money. Morales Money Community has access to an exclusive bull run course that covers all of this stuff in detail. But that's enough of that for now. Let's get back into the lesson. With the seed phrase successfully verified, our wallet is now fully ready to use and also backed up, assuming we stored that seed phrase in a safe location. I encourage you to do that without ever revealing it to anyone else. With our wallet set up, selecting the extension from the top shows a similar interface to what we're used to if we've used MetaMask in the past. Selecting the deposit option gives us an option to fund the wallet. Here we'll be funding our wallet from a central exchange, using no more than 10 Aptos in today's testing. A little over $50 at the current market rate. With our assets now in Potom Wallet, we're ready to return to potom.network. Notice we have a small amount less than 10 APT. That's because of the amount needed for gas to move the funds to our wallet. Selecting the liquid swap button next brings us to the primary AMM for Aptos. Here we'll accept the terms and conditions and select continue. Then connect our wallet. Selecting Potom Wallet as recommended. And our account, then continue. And connect. With our wallet connected, we're ready to perform our first trade on the network. So let's look first for wrapped BTC liquidity. Here we see that wrapped BTC is provided not only by seller, but also by layer zero. So let's take a look at the layer zero option. Okay, so just a couple points on what's going on here. If you aren't that familiar with automatic market maker exchanges, then this might seem pretty foreign. We have deep details, examples, tutorials, and all sorts of other guides on how to use AMMs, how to provision liquidity, and how to perform all sorts of functions in order to set up your own strategy. That again is available to Morales Money subscribers, so click below if you're interested. 
For this tutorial, I do want to explain a little bit about what's going on though. Why do we have two wrapped BTC assets on the same network? Well, that's because they were bridged from Ethereum over to Aptos using different means. As we could see on the screen, one was labeled layer zero, the other one was labeled seller. Well, those are the name of two different bridge protocols that allow for interoperability between blockchains. In this next lesson, we're gonna pick the one that we want for a wrapped ETH asset, and we'll explain a little bit about why. Let's get into it. Here before continuing, we're gonna take a look at the earn options, specifically what farming options are available. This will help dictate our first trades on the network. Here's a reminder that to participate in earning, we're going to need to set up our own LP positions. So we'll take care of that today as well. But we'll select cancel for now to look at the available options. Here we see three farms in particular. One that's paired with wrapped ETH and the other two are paired with stablecoin. We're gonna go ahead and set up a position between wrapped ETH and APT in order to participate in this option here. To do this, we first need to secure some wrapped ETH selecting the layer zero version. Now we should take our time here to make sure that the version of wrapped ETH that we're trading for is the version that we'll need when adding liquidity. Here we see that it is, layer zero being the dominant liquidity provider, at least for ETH within the liquid swap exchange. Turning to the swap interface allows us to place a swap trade. Selecting register wrapped ETH and swap. Here it says that before we can receive wrapped ETH, we need to register them to our account. Selecting next provides us this option. Here we select confirm to register the asset, which requires a small amount of gas. Once registered, we're ready to process a swap, selecting the swap button, and then confirm swap. Here we see a preview of the transaction before proceeding. The top amount includes our specified swap amount, plus any gas that we need to pay to process the transaction. Here we select confirm, finally receiving confirmation that it executed successfully. With APT and wrapped ETH now in our wallet, we're ready to participate in the farming opportunity. Selecting add liquidity below the pool that we're interested in. Here we'll specify the maximum amount of wrapped ETH, knowing that an equivalent amount of APT will automatically be populated on the other side. Here we select add liquidity and then confirm. The pool is currently quoting a rather high APR of 20%. Keep in mind that this APR represents trade fees within the pool as well as incentives which are being provided by the protocol. Here we select confirm in order to provision the liquidity position. Once confirmation is received, we can select close. Now that we've set up a liquidity position, the option is changed from add liquidity to stake. So let's select that next. Here we'll select the full amount of our wrapped ETH APT liquidity tokens, selecting stake. After reviewing the preview, we select confirm. Here we see that we would be eligible for an interest boost if we stake an NFT from this collection here. To check them out, we need to select the discovery button. The floor price of 35 APT is a bit more than we're holding in our wallet today. So we're gonna bypass this option for now, but know that it is available for people who are interested in receiving that boost to their liquidity pools. Keep in mind that when setting up these type of farming positions, a lock period is enforced and that we will not be able to withdraw our liquidity until after that date. In this case, it's only a week, so not tremendously high risk there, especially since we're working with test amounts today. Here we can see our APT rewards beginning to accumulate. This is in addition to any rewards that are collected by the liquidity pool itself. Next, we move on to Aries Market, selecting Launch App. Connecting our wallet, we're able to participate in the Aries Market lending protocol. Here, selecting Continue and then Connect. Notice that we have a few different options available, APT and then TAPT as well as some other assets that we're relatively familiar with. Take a look at the deposit APY amounts. This is how much we stand to earn if depositing these assets. Unfortunately, lending APT doesn't really earn us much at all. However, lending TAPT does. So let's secure one TAPT in order to participate in this. We can do this 
via the Tortuga Finance Protocol, a liquid staking protocol available on Aptos. Now, this isn't the only APT staking protocol that we're going to explore today. So if you're following along, you may want to save some APT for later steps as well. But first, we're going to compare the current rate for producing TAPT on chain, connecting our wallet to get started. Here we select Get TAPT. Selecting an amount of one APT would grant us 0.938 TAPT. Since the return isn't one to one, let's also consider the swap rate for this same asset, this time returning to the liquidswap.com swap interface. This time we'll select TAPT on the bottom side and APT on the top. Notice the difference? Our rewards are actually stronger if swapping on chain than producing the assets ourselves. So let's produce a swap rather than creating more TAPT in the system. Here we select confirm to register the token to our account, then select swap in order to process the swap transaction. Select and confirm again. With TAPT in our wallet, we can now return to Aries Markets, selecting the TAPT option and here creating a profile to deposit. This requires signing a transaction as well. Select and confirm. Once our deposit profile is created, we can contribute any amount of the TAPT we're holding. We'll select the full amount and deposit, then confirm. At this point, we'll earn some additional interest on top of the native interest earned by TAPT using this protocol. We also open ourselves up to borrow against what we've supplied. The amount isn't a lot, but we do have $3 and some change available to borrow should we choose to. Had we contributed a larger amount of TAPT, we could perform a leverage trick where we take a loan in USDC, trade that USDC for even more Aptos or TAPT, and then redeposit that to the protocol, effectively leveraging our position and increasing our returns. However, we do at the same time increase our risk as we would need to close that leverage position in order to withdraw all of our assets. Okay, so just a couple more tips for anybody performing on-chain leveraging using the method I just described for the first time. You need to watch out for liquidation. That means that if the interest that you're accruing against your loan exceeds the threshold set by the protocol, it's possible that the protocol will sell your collateral assets in order to pay your loan. When this happens, you always lose money and you do not want this to occur without your knowledge. So monitoring those thresholds is of very high importance. That said, this type of leveraging is possible and experimenting with test amounts is also possible when using scaled efficient networks like Aptos. Now we've got one more stop before we finish up today and that's the liquid staking protocol Thala. Now, Thala isn't quite as well known as some of the other ones on the Aptos chain, but it's one of the most exciting because it supports multiple assets. Let's take a look. Thala can be found over at thalalabs.xyz. Here we select enter app. Once in the app, we're given a breakdown of available vaults and pools. Notice that vaults are single asset and pools are multi-asset i.e. combined using an AMM protocol. Today we're going to take a look at the THL MOD option. A couple of things to note here. This is a weighted pool where 80% of the assets are held in one currency and 20% in the other, as shown here. That means that to participate, we only need one-fifth the amount of move that we're holding in Thala token. Now, Thala is a multifunction DeFi protocol offering a series of vaults and pools, as well as a swap interface, launchpad, bridge, as well as some analytics info. Together, this provides us with one of the more robust DAP experiences that we've found on Aptos so far. Notice that the bridge function actually calls two well-known bridges on the back end, layer zero and wormhole. Here we'll favor the THL MOD pool due to the high advertised APR. 
To go any further, we're going to need to swap for the needed assets. Using the swap interface, we can swap for the MOD and THL assets we need to create our pool. Here we'll specify 0.1 APT on the top side and select swap in order to receive the specified amount of MOD. Now if we remember when we were looking at the pool weighting, we need five times the amount of THL in order to set up our position. Here we'll swap for 0.5 THL, selecting swap, and then confirm. With both assets now in our wallet, we can select the pool tab and then the pool that we have in mind. Next, selecting deposit. Here when we select the max amount of THL, it automatically populates an equivalent amount of mod. However, the amounts don't perfectly match. That's because of the slippage that occurs during trading. This isn't a major concern so long as we use the smaller amount to set our parameters. Notice now both are within the range needed. Selecting max for MOD selects an amount of THL automatically that is less than what we're holding in our wallet. Here we select add liquidity to continue. With our liquidity added, the procedure is very similar to staking our liquidity over on LiquidSwap. Selecting the max amount and stake liquidity from the bottom processes the stake transaction. If you've been watching closely throughout this tutorial, you may have noticed that we haven't had to spend all that much on gas. And holding our remaining $34 in Aptos in our wallet doesn't make a lot of sense when we really only need about 0.1 Aptos in order to withdraw our funds from all the pools we participated in. Maybe a little more just to be safe. For that reason, what we're going to do is deposit all of our extra APT into a vault. Here we'll create a vault using APT. We can stake all sorts of different assets within the vault, but in order to really participate, we need to deposit enough to produce the minimum amount of mod. We know from other research that MOD, otherwise called Move Dollar, is a stable coin that's currently about 25% above the peg. Zooming out to max, we see that this is a relatively new development, as the asset has mostly struggled to stay on peg since launch, a relatively common occurrence for stable coin assets. Unfortunately, for simply staking our APT, this isn't really going to work for us. However, there is one other liquid staking protocol on Aptos that we're aware of, Ditto. Much like Tortuga, it allows us to simply deposit any amount of APT in order to receive a tokenized staked version. In the case of Ditto, we can deposit all six APT we have left to it, and we would receive this amount of ST Aptos, 5.776. So let's compare that to the exchange rate if we were to trade for this asset using LiquidSwap. Again, we see that trading for the asset actually secures us more in the long run. So we'll select the register STAPT option and swap for the asset rather than producing it ourselves on chain. Finally, we select swap to complete the process and then confirm. And that concludes our look into Aptos DeFi today. Obviously, there was a lot more we could do if we had additional assets on chain, we could have even performed some complex lending and liquidity strategies using that MOD stablecoin along with some other pools and possibly done quite well for ourselves in the process. Of course, that 500 MOD limitation is going to limit that procedure to wallets holding at least that amount of assets that they can contribute for collateral. If you're working with smaller amounts like I was, then perhaps a simple swap and stake strategy is better for you. That's a decision that only you can make for yourself. But if you want some help, meaning a community here to support you, provide you with education, and help you get to the next level each and every day, join the Morales Money community. We have a starter plan set up just for you guys so that you can get a taste of what we have to offer. Of course, the real value is in the pro plan. Plan. So I'll see all of you there in the Morales Discord where we can get serious about DeFi and the future of finance. Have a great day.